Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to make a um, shell bag. It's not soft as you can see. I used this yarn, it's polyester soft macrame. You can use macrame, cotton, raffia, a paper or any um, thicker yarn you choose. I start with um, one strands of uh, this yarn. And I made this round part. You can see the difference now, I think. That was small. So uh, I changed my mind later and used two strands together and used six millimeter J hook. So you can directly start like that. Use two strands and use a bigger hook. And uh, it's 250 grams of yarn. Um, I use two balls together and I have 100 almost 150 grams yarn left over so you will need 350 grams of yarn of course if it's uh, uh, like uh, this yarn because this one is 200 meters long um, it's not so hard to make uh, but you must follow the directions um, I could share the written pattern when I have it, uh, you can ju just check my website address, Rins Crochet. Uh, you will need a cord like that, but uh, you don't have to uh, have this one. Um, just check out your own uh, bags, okay? There is always uh, one or two handles like that inside them uh, and if you don't have this one uh, don't worry you can make your own card just look here uh, you will find some cords on my channel you can use any of them and uh, have a beautiful bag like that and it's not small i can show you that's my phone and I can put a yarn and hook and the scissors and uh, I think that's now all. Oh, we will need a stitch marker. I can put all, all of them inside and um, go to crochet. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Um, if you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We can start now. At first, I want to show you this ones. I try it with a lot of different yarns. That's a soft cotton yarn. And it's so soft as you can see and I use only one strand for here that I made this just for trying and I made this one this macrame yarn but it's not a soft macrame it's a cotton macrame it's a little too uh, hard to use I didn't feel good with it so I don't want to use this yarn and this one is a yarn art jeans plus I use two strands together and I like this very much really you can use a cotton yarn a thicker cotton yarn size 5 cotton yarn or if your yarn is um, thin uh, you can use two strands together. This yarn art plus was size four yarn. Uh, I used two strands with a um, five millimeter hook. 
And now I will use this yarn. Oops. And for this, you will need a lighter. Just a sec. Okay, we can start now. I will start with the magic ring, but if you are not familiar with the magic ring, you can start like that. Just make a slip knot, chain one, two, insert into this first chain, make a single crochet. And again, insert into the first chain, make a single crochet and make all your uh, cr uh, single crochets into this very same chain. Actually, I can make this like that. I can make the first one with this way. One, two, three, four, five. six and seven single crochets. Now we will join. You will need a stitch marker here. Now we will not join into this uh, loop, back loop or front loop. By the way, I have some glue on my fingers, so sorry for it. Now we will not work into uh, this. I have a focus problem, I think. Yeah, we will not insert here to join. We will turn our work and you can see these loops here back loops. Insert here. And make one, two single crochets. Into this first stitch, put a stitch marker. into the next one, put two, one, two, into the next one, here, put two, I could hide this yarn too, one, two, Next one, make two. 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 That's the last one. Two. Let me count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Take this out into this first stitch. Make only one single crochet. into the next one, make two, into next, make one, so sorry, 
and the next made two. One, two. And keep going. You will have 21 single crochets in the end. I'm not um, so used to um, use this yarn, but that's really good because I told that I used this one, it was so hard. It hurt my fingers. That's so good if you uh, think about that one. Make one. Make two. One and two. That's the first one. Insert here, grab the yarn, make a slip stitch. And that's all. That's the first one. Now we will make the second. For the second one, we will make the same thing except this last two stitches. But I want to show you the magic ring. If you want, you can use this. Just wrap the yarn around your fingers. Hold this yarn, insert your hook behind this first strand, grab the other one, pull it, make a twist, grab the same yarn and make a slip stitch. You can make a chain if you want. Make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochet. Close this ring. Then we will make the same things insert into this first stitch here if you want to close here nicely you can use this both yarn together here for only one time Take both of them, then complete it with one strand, put the stitch marker here, then make one more single crochet here, into the next, make two again and hide this tail while we are making. Okay, put two into every stitch, then put one into the one stitch and two into the next stitch for the next row. I'll see you at the end of this round. I made the same things. I just have two stitches left. Yarn over, insert into the first one, wrap the yarn, make a half double crochet. Yarn over, Insert into the next stitch 
and make a double crochet. One, two. And make one more. Then chain one, cut the yarn. Okay. That's our front side. And that's the back side. Okay. Join from this first stitch. Use the back loop again. Very back loop, not this back loop. Okay. Use this one, join and make 13 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Take this one. And we will join from here. You see, that's the right side. That's the wrong side. Okay. I will join from this last stitch. And I will insert it like that. Just hold the yarn. Uh, not hold it like that, okay? Hold the yarn. You can hold it from here. Insert into this stitch, grab the yarn, pull through from both loops. Okay? I will show you one more time. If you um, join like that, you can make this too, but if you join like that, it will look bad. So it's not so hard to make this. Hold the yarn with your finger. Insert from front, uh, uh, sorry, uh, from top to the down. Grab the yarn and Pull through, you can leave this yarn right now. Pull through from both loops. That's a slip stitch. Then chain one. Now, there's an important thing I want to show you. That's our chain one and that's our slip stitch. We will not work into these ones. Okay? If you work into this ones, you will have more stitches. And we must find the first chain, this one, insert here, grab the yarn, pull through. There's a slip stitch. Into the next chain, Make a single crochet. Into the next chain, grab the yarn and make a half double crochet. Okay, right now we made a slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet. Now we will make seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I have three stitches left. Insert into the first one and make a half double crochet. Insert into the next one, make a single crochet. Insert into this next, make a slip stitch. We complete our first row. And for the row two, and for all these second rows, we will make same thing. We will just put slip stitch and slip stitch into the first and last loop. And between them, we will make back loop only single crochets. From now on, we will always use back loops. And for the second rows, we will make single crochets. It's so simple. That's the right side, so I can insert like that from a front to back. Make a slip stitch, make a chain, turn. Now you can see them. That's the chain, that's the slip stitch. Sorry, yeah, that's the slip stitch, that's the chain. And into this third stitch, insert back loop, make a slip stitch. Into the next stitch, make single crochet and keep going single, keep making single crochets. You will make 11 single crochets. One. Two, three, four, ten, eleven, and into this last stitch, make a back loop only slip stitch. And here, don't leave the yarn like that. Take it here. Insert. Grab the yarn, make a slip stitch. Chain one, turn. Skip these two. Make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now we will make some increases. I write down the pattern somewhere. And I cannot get it because it could be a little confusing. The numbers will be confusing, uh, but uh, if you just follow this video, I think you can make it easily. And I will share the written pattern too. Into this next stitch, make two single crochets into same place. One, two. Into this next stitch, make a half double crochet. And starting from here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. And into this middle stitch, we will make one more increase. We will make three double crochets here. One, two, three. And then make three more double crochets in a row. One, two, and make a half double, make two single crochets into same stitch, and make a slip stitch. Two 
there uh, at the right side insert from here make a slip stitch chain one turn skip two make a slip stitch and make your single crochets and let me see how many single crochets we have one two three 14 and 15 single crochets we have and into the next stitch make a slip stitch and here make the same thing take the yarn like that insert into the stitch grab the yarn make a slip stitch chain one and turn For the row five, skip two, make a slip stitch, make two single crochets in the same stitch, one, two. Make one single crochet into the next stitch, make a half double crochet, Make nine double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine into the next stitch make a half double crochet into the next stitch make one single crochet into the next stitch put two single crochets and a slip stitch join Chain one, turn. Make a slip stitch, then make 17 single crochet and a slip stitch. I'll see you at the end of this row. I made 17 single crochets and one slip stitch. Join from this next stitch. Make your slip stitch, then put two single crochet into next stitch. Two single crochets into the next stitch and one single crochet here. That's our first last that will be our last row with increases. Just for now, of course and uh, make a half double crochet make nine double crochets one two three four five seven eight and nine make a half double make a single make two singles into same stitch and again make two singles into same stitch and a slip stitch
join with a slip stitch chain one turn start with slip stitch make 21 back loop only single crochets then a slip stitch see you there I made 21 single crochets and a slip stitch here and it looks like a frog <laughs> right now frog mask you can make it for your child <laughs> I will join from here now make slip stitch make five single crochets one two three four and five make a half double crochet make nine double crochets nine make a half double make five single crochets Make a slip stitch and join. Now starting from here, we will repeat this row. And for the next row, we will make a slip stitch, a 21 single crochets and a slip stitch. Totally 23 stitches you will have. We will repeat these two rows um, for many rows until you have this one two three four stitches left you can put a stitch marker here if you want okay I'll put a stitch marker here and when I reach there I will stop don't make anything here and here of course uh, one, two, three, and four. This one. Okay, just keep repeating these two rows again and again. Uh, then I see you. Okay, I made it for 32 rows, I think. Um, I made a change. Um, I use two yarns together, two strands together. Because uh, it seems a little small uh, with one strand. And I use two of them and use six millimeter hook with them. And that's even bigger. I can give you the measurements. It's eight inch long right now, of course. I can give you this one's measurements. It's also almost eight inch long. And um, I think uh, you can just try this uh, with a yarn. And then uh, you can find uh, your uh, gauge. I made a lot of uh, from this one. It's not so hard to make. So I think you can uh, try a little. Or you can directly use a thick yarn. Uh, now chain one. Make a slip stitch. By the way, I will show you this. I finished with single crochet row. I have four stitches left. One, two, three, and four. Count this one too, cause we made a slip stitch here. 
we have one more stitch there okay or you can just count your rows now I am in the row 33 and then uh, put two single crochets into the same place and make four single crochets in a row one two three four one half double crochet oops nine double crochets one two and my yarn seems like that <laughs> little snakes <laughs> I don't know why it's uh, happened but oh boy I think I uh, couldn't finish these two yarns we will see I didn't count my double crochets. We can count like that. One slip stitch, two single crochet in the same stitch, four single crochets, a half double, six double crochets, seven, eight, and nine. Um, sorry, one half double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, put two single crochets into same stitch. And a slip stitch. Join with a slip stitch, chain one, turn, make a slip stitch, make single crochets. You have two more stitches right now. Just complete this row. See you uh, here. I complete the single crochet row and this row we will not make any increases. Make a slip stitch. Make six single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six. Make a half double. Make nine double crochets. One, two, eight, and nine. Make a half double. Make six single crochets. A slip stitch and join. Chain one and make the single crochet row. At the end of the row 36, chain one, make a slip stitch. 
I'm making third seven. A row third seven now. Make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make one half double crochet. Make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And into this next stitch, make two double crochets. One, two. Next, make four double crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, make a half double crochet. Make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a slip stitch. Join again. Chain one. Let me count the stitch. I have twenty six stitch right now. Turn, make a slip stitch, make twenty four single crochets, and one more slip stitch. I made uh, 25 and with this slip stitch it's 26. Chain one, make a slip stitch. Make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a half double. Make eleven double crochet. Ten and eleven and make a half double, make six single crochets. And make a slip stitch. Turn from here, chain one, turn and make the uh, single crochet row. I complete the single crochet row and join from here. Chain one, make a slip stitch and repeat uh, this row. Make six single crochet, one half double crochet, eleven uh, double crochet, one half double crochet, 
six single crochet and a slip stitch. Just repeat this as you at the end of the row. I complete this row now um, I will finish here you see that's my last stitch that's the uh, chain I made uh, when I finish my stitch I made a chain then hide my tail here now start insert from back to front if you want you can insert into this last stitch or this chain that's not important but insert into the stitch between these legs scrap this loop pull it it's a little hard for me but I made it okay you see this stitch here insert here between these two legs this time Hold this stitch we made a kind of slip stitch and then insert into this first stitch both loops I will not use back loops right now insert both loops grab the yarn that's a little hard cause that's a slip stitch pull through insert both loops grab the yarn and slip stitch insert both loops make a slip stitch That could be a little hard because we are going to the wrong direction. And we are making slip stitches. But it's not too hard. You can make it. I will go like that and uh, see you here. I reach this side. I will insert from this first stitch make a slip stitch then insert into every chain you have make a slip stitch Use the chains okay I'll see you here I made my last slip stitch and cut my yarn I thought I'm recording but uh, I didn't but I didn't make anything I just cut the yarn okay it will look like that now I will hide it insert from here wrap the yarn I will use a hook because it will be easier for me if you want you can use a yarn needle
rest. Now fix it a little with your hands. I told you before, but maybe you didn't see one of my uh, other videos. I will uh, t uh, t tell it again. When you work with macrame yarn or fabric yarns or paper yarns, uh, kind of this yarns, raffia yarns, you must fix it uh, while you are working. Okay, or else it will not look good enough. Just you use your hands and uh, hand iron done. Okay, and that's our um, basket or bag. If you want, you can use it as a bag. Actually, I have something like that and I can use it let me see I can put one of them here and that's it right now And if you don't have one of these, don't worry. Uh, you can make uh, your own cords. Uh, I have videos on my channel. You can see them here. Okay. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching me. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget the push to like button. Sis Crochet is my Instagram, Pinterest and website address. You can reach me there. This is for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.